Hey there guys, my name's Dawn and we garden in Texas, Zone 8B. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for being here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, we're gonna be doing a few yard projects that are well past due. We're gonna be working on some front yard drainage issues, also a little backyard maintenance. So thanks for joining us and I hope you'll stay tuned. This is the rock we have to play with and that is the shape that we're probably going to do. That is what matters the most because the water drains more at the upper part than down here at the lower part. So, Our drainage is so poor so we have several things going on here. We, we have a full backyard that drains into our driveway. And then we have the retaining wall here where the neighbor's water da drains down into our driveway. And then the driveway drains through the front yard. So what happens is our driveway gets flooded and our sidewalk gets flooded. So it's impossible to get in and out of the house when we get rains. So it worked out great because our awesome neighbor needed St. Augustine. And so he came and picked up all of the grass. So we did not have to put out an announcement to the okay. neighborhood right. or try to figure out how we were going to dispose of it. So it worked out great. No, you're not going to get any royalties when you <laughs> <laughs> So after we got the rocks laid out, Rob went ahead and just dug out this whole area. He, um, that way we can get some landscape fabric down before we start putting the gravel. We really just dug out the grass. We did, made it a little bit deeper here along the sidewalk. It hasn't rained in five days, and so this water is still standing here. And this is a perfect example of why when you have clay, you have to amend your soil. When you're planting, you know, flower beds or garden beds or anything into the ground, So I'm rolling out the landscape fabric and I need to go ahead and remove this stone. I want there to be a natural, more of a natural edging between the landscape bed and the river rock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a metal edging here and then it'll be covered with river rock. So it'll just like a, like a gradual flow from the landscape bed to the river rock. We added about a total of three inches of the crushed granite, and I think we just got this one at Lowe's.
So the river rock my husband picked up in his truck and it was about a half ton to fill this space. And I'd say we probably had about two layers of river rock laid down here. We just get it at a local rock company that is very close to our home. Makes it very convenient. Oh, that should make a huge difference. We filmed this earlier this summer, so if you want to see some updates, go ahead and tune in to this video. You should see the link here. Well, so we have a lot of crushed granite left, so I'm going to get to work on the back sidewalk tomorrow, maybe start filling in some gaps. All right, guys, it's another early morning, and you got to get out here while it's still cool. The sun is out, so it's going to be another hot day. But um, we, again, had drainage issues back here. Our uh, sump pump stopped working, so um, we had mud throughout this sidewalk. And so um, I'm putting new granite. We just need to uh, get some granite out here to line between the stones because it's all mud now. So... all sand now. It's all wet too. Oh. I wonder if I should let it dry out. I let it dry out. I'm gonna spread it out and then I'll come back later this evening after it dried out. It's too wet. Yeah.
and it doesn't look bad. It's just, it's just when dirt gets in there, it just starts to look messy. So as we come down and start to see when the granite kind of fills it out, it just starts to look a little bit neater and it's a lot smoother like this. So, and if you want to see more of the backyard, go ahead and tune in to the backyard tour right here.